Hi everybody, welcome to Dax Repair. Today we are going to be doing a gross one. Roach infested Xbox One S came in for a power supply replacement. Now, I did not know that it was roach infested until I popped this bottom cover off. And you will be able to see what I'm talking about. I should have got a hint from all the roach poop. You can even see it right there. But it was not a pleasant surprise. <clears throat> All right, pop this bottom cover off. This is kind of a how-to disassembly as well. Why not? But really, it's just to see some of the stuff we get. All right, you saw, you can see there to the left, right by my screwdriver, there's two little dead bodies. You can see me kind of in disgust there. I'm picking them up. All right, so we're just disassembling it. Again, this was a power supply. It, it powers on for a second and then powers off. That can happen when there's a power supply issue. So I had a new power supply that I was that I put it I was going to put in per customer request. And then This happened. Da, 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 da. Yeah. You could see me breathing. That's me breathing in those little bodies. Now, luckily, all these were dead. Uh, but it still doesn't make it less gross. You can see when I breathe, they kind of walk around a little bit. But they're not actually moving. That's just me breathing. Here, all the little dots. That's roach poop. And there's the carcass eye. Carcasses? Carcass eye? I'm going to say carcass eye. Then we open this guy up. It'll be fine in there, right? I think so. I mean, it'll probably be all right. Oh my god. That's not even the worst part. We'll get to the worst part. We're going to get... I'm just kind of stunned right now. That's why I'm not really moving. So there's a power supply. I just touched it. It says PWR on it. Yep. That's what we're going to be replacing. But... Obviously there are other issues. Now... The first thing I'm going to do now, you know, roaches or, or whatever, like people get roaches. Uh, so many casualties. Again, they're all dead. The reason roaches go into the reason roaches like Xboxes and other electronics is it's warm in there. Uh, the power supply is warm. Uh, the CPU is warm, the GPU is warm, so they go in there, and it's a nice little place for them to live. Yeah, they're just everywhere. And, you know, that, that happens. People get roaches, I understand. Um, and a lot of the time, the electronics can be fixed. Uh, that's why we're continuing this repair. Yeah, it's gross, uh, but... It's still a customer, and it's still an Xbox, and they requested it to be repaired. So, shop back out, clean up the battlefield, and then we get back to it. So, we're going to be trying a new power supply. But also, we want to clean it up. We really want to get all the... We're not going to... If it's fixable, we're not giving it back to them like this. So now I just, I've got a little shop vac, a little tiny one. And I'm just trying to get all the bodies out of there. So that's kind of what I'm fiddling with underneath the, the desk there. Just going through all the cracks. All right. 
again, roaches happen even to the best of us. Um, but my whole thing is like, if you suspect that you have roaches in your Xbox or you know you have them, just let me know. Give me a heads up. Don't, don't surprise me. That's not a fun surprise. And if they're, if you have active live roaches in your house and you have an Xbox and you bring it to me and there's actual roaches crawling out of it, I'm probably not going to do your repair. Um, <clears throat> I don't want roaches. So get an exterminator, get it taken care of, then we can talk. So right now I'm just taking the power supply out to uh switch it with the new one you gotta take a couple different things out you gotta take the uh the hard drive it's kind of uh in the way to get the power supply out it uses the same bracket or, or uh, is on top of it so there's a power supply now at this point i decide okay we can't just try a new power supply. There's roaches everywhere. They're all dead. We have to take this thing completely apart and clean everything up. If this is going to be salvageable. <clears throat> so. We've got the hard drive. Or we've got the power supply out. We've got the hard drive hanging off there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take it off. And we're going to pull the disk drive. We're going to pull everything apart down to the motherboard. <clears throat> because it is our best shot for this to be a successful repair. Alright, so you got your power and you got your SATA cable. Standard hard drive stuff. You just pull them both out of there. And you can see the front of this. That's where your power button is. All of that discoloration and texture you see is roach feces. Not great. All right. So this is where this is how you pull the uh, disk drive. Disk drive out of there. <clears throat> And when we lift that up, we can see some very bad news. That appears to be water damage or liquid damage. And of course, there's some bodies in there. Um, it, it looks like some kind of like roach urine is what it looks like. And it also looks like it's shorting out the board. So, yes, we're going to go ahead and pull this all the way down to the board and see if there's any repairs at the board level that we need to take a look at. Right there, I'm kind of looking at this little, uh, the legs on this uh, little resistor. Because one of them looks fried. So I'm going to try and get a closer look. I'm going to clean up this discoloration. But first I got to pull the fan and the heat sink off of there. Go fast for that. So to get to that, we have to pull both of these boards because they connect through the frame. You can't pull the, the board out of the frame without pulling that up. 
and there's a little retaining bracket in the front there and this little clip <clears throat> that holds the board down on top of the front USB all right so we pulled it out of there and as you can see even underneath everything that's moving not moving it's not moving they're not moving but they are well, here I'll dump them out for you they are in there even in the bottom it was a massacre but we deal with it this is actually a not uncommon thing to see when you are repairing uh, video game consoles Xboxes, PS4s, or, you know, PlayStations. Um, it happens. So, yeah, all that white, crusty-looking stuff should not be there. And even on the bottom there, you see a little bit of the, uh, the white. That's all roach PP. All right, X bracket off. That lets us lift the heat sink and fan off. And as you can see underneath that heat sink, this is the hottest part of the board. There is a bunch of roach parts. Not even full roaches. There's some full roaches, but there's a lot of parts in there. I think probably what happens is some, I mean, obviously they got exterminated. Uh, someone came in and, and killed them all. But I think they were frying themselves to death um, before that even happened. Like it was getting so hot that they were melting themselves. I don't know. I don't know what goes on the inside of the minds of roaches. But uh, they sure like that, that chip right there. It is the hot, hottest part. So, all right. So we kind of got all the well. We didn't get all of it, but we got enough to start cleaning. All right. So here's that. I'm not sure what it is. It's a resistor or a capacitor or something. Uh, it's on the board. It was uh, soldered to the board. And one of the, I don't have it under the microscope, so you can't probably see, but there's four legs, and one of them looks like it has uh, less meat to it, like it's been fried. Um, <clears throat> so that's what I'm looking at here. I just want to get in there and clean it up a little bit and inspect uh, the board, the damage to the board. It's definitely been damaged, but it's making connections, so it might be all right. I'm not sure at this point. And then here, there's a bunch of that roach urine. I'm um, just going through and making sure that it's not basically bridging these connections. Um, it's not making it, it so one pad is is communicating with the other pad uh, which can happen with liquid that's what liquid does is it carries electric signal yeah there's some damage there too all right so cleaned up everything's been cleaned up washed off um, it is as good as it's ever possibly going to be so now we're going to go ahead and do some testing and see if this uh, will work with a new power supply. I have different pants on because it's a different day because it dried, all these components dried overnight. Right now we're just doing some testing so we're just doing a little bit of thermal paste. We didn't clean it as well as we usually would because we don't have a lot of hope for this thing. But we're going to try because that's what we do.
clean off the bottom of the heat sink. We didn't clean the fan off. Those are real. It's not a good idea to get any of that wet because of the bearings and things or brush brushes, whatever kind of fan it is. It, it just, it's not a good idea. All right, put our X bracket back on that holds that to the bottom of the motherboard or holds the heat sink in place and fan on top. <clears throat> Just gotta make sure all the little hooks on the underneath of it are sitting in the right place. All right. So now we're just going to put it back in its little casing. Put our front panel on, which is our has our power button on it, which we completely cleaned up. It's just a little retaining bracket that goes on there as well, where the screws go through the case. And our other little retainer. And make sure all the ports on the back line up properly, which they weren't. <clears throat> until we went in and figured out the issue. I get to watch me fiddle around with this for a few minutes. And finally, we get it done correctly. Oh, I see one little roach body on the bottom there. He snuck in. He snuck back in. No, he didn't sneak back in. They're all dead. They're all dead. All right. Bracket on. Bracket on, bracket, bracket on. Perfect. All right, now <clears throat> front, front, in the front. There you go. All right. So that's all we need. We need that. We need. Put that uh, bracket back in because we are going to test the power. We do not need this disk drive. All we need is our power supply. We want to see if it boots up or if it uh, powers on. We don't need the disk drive. We don't need the uh, hard drive. We don't need any of that. So first, I'm just testing the old power supply. I'm just going to see if it works with that one because of the damage to the board. Maybe the cleaning fixed it. So that's what we're going to try first. So we're going to plug that boy in. And again, before it was turning on briefly, it would make the ding, and then it would turn off right away. So if this power supply does work, it will continue. It'll spin the fan up and uh, ultimately give us some kind of error. Well, there's no screen hook to it, but uh, for not finding a hard drive or anything. Oh, okay. So that's me plugging it in. It does a brief fan cycle. 
and then I'm going to press the button and same thing one second and off so we know that old power supply did not fix the issue remember it was filled full of cockroaches so we are going to try the brand new power supply now there's also an interesting thing that on the board itself there's a clicking noise when you power it on brand new power supply all right here is the moment of truth and it wasn't plugged in all the way here is the moment of truth did we do it here is the moment here is the moment here is the moment no it's dead the roaches win thank you so much for checking out my video please like subscribe and comment and again thank you for watching i love you all